Okay. <clears throat> Happy Monday, and welcome to my site, well, my YouTube channel anyway. My site is only at night, on Mondays and Wednesdays. I'm going to do something a little interesting today. I'm going to show you how three books are related. <clears throat> What's a prerequisite? or how to become creative. We're gonna first work from the uh, pattern series by Gary Shafee. His, his book, Time Functioning. And we're gonna work with, his, not, not his symbol ostinatos, but we're gonna work with part of page 11. So, for you to get the most out of this, you should have this book. Okay, that will be page 11. And what I've done, I want to show you how uh, closely related that uh, the Patterns book and the New Breed is. The New Breed by Gary Chester, a brilliant, brilliant teacher. Both of them, as a matter of fact, Gary Chester and Gary Shafee. Now, Gary Shafee, uh, not too long ago, went into retirement. However, he's out of retirement now only because of the demand. He had a demand of, of uh, students wanting to take lessons, so he came out of uh, retirement. I believe he's, in, he's located in Connecticut, if I'm not, I'm not sure, but I think. And anyway, Gary Chester, he has deceased now. Great concept very practical and very difficult. And it has to do with open-handed playing, uh, opening your four limbs to uh, strong, strong coordination. Now, uh, he has a systems in here which he takes and he plays melodies with the bass drum. And we're gonna work with some of that today. And, of course, the stick control book. I want to show you how some of his systems are related uh, to the stick control book and Gary Shafee's as well. So, let's begin. And one thing I, I really want to say is I've studied with Joe Morello for such a long period of time that um, I missed out on Gary Shafee and I missed out on Gary Chester. I would have loved to take lessons with them. However, I learned the stick control book uh, from Joe Morello, secondhand concept and then some uh, by George Lawrence Stone. One thing I would have loved to have been perhaps is a fly on the wall and watch Joe take a lesson from George. Or I didn't realize at that time he was living and I could have taken maybe one or two or three thousand lessons. Brilliant man, his book is brilliant. It's an icon in the in the uh, drum book community, and every drummer should have a copy of the stick control. So again, you want to be. We're going to be working from the new breed, the stick control, and Gary Shafee's pattern series, time functioning. Hello, whoever you are in here. Um, It'd be nice to say hello. Anyway, we're going to utilize four voices, and we're going to have a couple variations of it. Now, as players, we're so accustomed to come down on one side. Simple pattern like this. And we're going to do a lot of open-handed drumming today as well. One pattern that I really... Uh, found a little unusual because of the way I, I've been playing is in most play, people plays that one-sided playing so the one pattern that I liked and it's challenging the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use the crown of the cymbal the snare drum the hi-hat and the bass drum so these are like four voice combinations we're going to play 
So we're going to count, rather, in 16th note formation. One, E, and, a, uh, two, E, and, a, uh, three, E, and, a, uh, four, E, and, a. Uh. Now my ride cymbal is going to be played on the counts of one, two, three, four, while I'm counting the 16th. I'm going to play as light as I can so you can hear my voice, but the cymbal will be working. I'm playing the crown of the cymbal. One, E, and, a. Uh, Two E and a uh, three E and a uh, four E and a. Uh. Now we have all that space in between the downbeats, the E and the. Uh. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm playing that ride cymbal one, two, three, four, and I now I'm going to play the hi hat while I'm playing the quarter notes on the ride cymbal on all the ands. One E and the uh, two E and the. Uh, Three E and uh, four E and uh. Now I'm using the toe, and I'm not using the heel and toe. How you doing, uh, Ed? Glad to see that you can make it today. Like I said, we're working from the uh, pattern series, time functionings, the new breed, and the stick control book. So I'm taking one of these systems from the, the new breed, and I'm going to utilize it a, a couple different variations. Like I said, we're in 16th note formation. One E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four E and uh. Now I'm going to play now my snare drum on the counts of two and four while that's going on. One E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four E and uh. One E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four E and uh. This is one variation, and I'm using the crown of the cymbal. But you can use the bell, and it gives you a different effect, a different color, a different sound. One E, I'm sorry. One E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four E and uh. Or we can use the floor tom tom. Or we can, you know, we use, let's go to the floor tom tom. Uh, all quarter notes. One, I'm gonna play soft so you can hear me count. One E and a, uh, two E and a, uh, three E and a, uh, four E and a. Uh, then I, one E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four E and uh, one E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four E and uh. you can hear me counting over the drum. Uh, yes, Ed or Fred rather. I mean Ed rather. Anyway, that's the couple variations. Now I also like to take the stick and cross it on the snare to get a different sound and a different color, like so. So I'm going to play the quarter note and the upbeats on the uh, hi-hat and two and four in the snare. One E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four E and uh, one E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four E and just a different effect, different color. And I do the same thing with the floor tom-tom. One E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four E and uh, one E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four E and uh. and we're going to work with those different uh, sounds and different colors. One more I'd like to add would be I take a mallet. It's a different effect and. I play that two different ways. I play it on the snare with my left hand, and I cross my stick on, on the snare. First, I'll do it playing the two and four. One, you're going to get a nice sound. One E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four E and one E and uh, two E and three E and uh, four E and. And then we turn across the stick. 
onto the snare drum and give it like a rim shot. One E and uh, two E and three E and uh, four E and one E and uh, two E and three E and uh, four E and. Ed, can you hear me counting? All right, now what we're going to do, we're going to take the foot patterns from two books. We could actually go to three, but we don't going to have time for that today. So I'm going to take actually uh, in time functions, the, the uh, pattern series, uh, I think it's page 11, how he permutates the bass drum. And I'm going to try to show you what they call the grid. The grid meaning every you play every other note uh, on the downbeat. Like for example, one E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four E and uh. So we're gonna make that, we're gonna take the first one and make that while this, this pattern is going on or uh, what does he call it again, uh, Gary Chester? Uh, yeah, I guess patterns is fine. All right, we're going to play the bass drum from page 11 in time functioning. The bass drum is going to fall on the counts of one and three. One E and the two E and the three E and the four E and the. Now, when you're first starting this, you want to make that bass drum domi uh, the dominant voice. You want it to overpower the other voices for now. Eventually, you're going to blend it in musical. So let's start with the first guy. We're going to play the pattern first. We got one E and the two E and three E. Now the bass drum, four E and one E and the two E and three E and the four E and one E and the two E and three E and the four E. Now that's on the crown, the crown of the cymbal. Now we're going to go play the same pattern with the right hand, but I'm going to change the left hand to the rim or claw stick, like so. So we have one E, uh, one E and uh, two E and three E and uh, four. Bass drum now. One E and uh, two E and three E and uh, four and. One E and the two E and three E and the four and just a different flavor, different color. And then on the floor, one E and the two E and three E and the four. Now bass drum, one E and the two E and three E and the four E cross, one E and the two E and. Three E and the four E and and then the mallet. One E and the two E and three E and the four E and one E and the two E and three E. I'm sorry. Oh, let me try that again. One E and the two E and three E and the four and. Now I'm not going to do this left-handed because I'm not set up to do it that way yet for today's lesson. <clears throat> but that's the first pattern, or first series, or first system. That's what Gary Chester called it. And I'm only putting the bass drum on the counts of one and three. Now, that's what we're accustomed to. A high ass piece of cake when you're playing that bass drum on the one and the three. Now, we're going to move the bass drum. We're going to maintain the same pattern, and we're going to move the bass drum to the E of one, in the E of three while the pattern's going on. I'm going to play it on the snare. One E and uh, two E and three E and uh, four and one E and uh, two and three E and four and one E and two and three E and four and. Now the next one, I'm just going to stay with one pattern with the ride symbol. But like I demonstrated with the one and three, you could play it cross, uh, you could play a rim shot across the, the, the stick, 
or you can play the bass drum, I mean the uh, floor tom-tom, with the stick and with the mallet. So if you want me to go over that, I will. If not, you understand it, that's fine. I'll just go to the next one, which is the and of one and the and of three. Now this is, it sounds easy, but it's a little unusual because now you're coming down with two voices uh, with the feet. One E and, uh, two E and, uh, three E and, uh, four E and, while the pattern's going on. One E and, uh, two E and, three E and, uh, four E and, one E and, uh, two E and, three E and, uh, four. Here we go. One E and, uh, two E and, three E and, uh, four and, one E and, uh, two E and, three E and, uh, four and. Now, I want to play them slow so you can understand what I'm doing. All I am actually going to do today is, is, is cover the first four patterns that uh, Gary Shafee has, which is called the grid. Now, I will just hang out for a while just doing line one, line one, the bass drum one and three. Feel good about that. Then do the bass drum on the E of one and the E of three. And keep doing that. When you feel good with both of them, on the counts of one and three, then the E of one and the E of three, play one measure of the one and three, one measure of the E of one and the E of three. And then you feel good about it, go on to the and of one and the and of three. Now the next one is very, not very unusual, but it's, it's, it's different, I guess. It's a different feel. Uh, the coordination system has to be right on the money. We're going to play the da of one and the da of three. <laughs> nice and slow. One E and the two E and three E and the four and one E and the two and three E and the four and. Now, I've taken one system which you can refer to it as an ostinato pattern or a system from Gary Sh Chester's book. Or even you want to go that far and say you can create that system using the stick, I mean the uh, pattern series, which I just did. And if I played the one, the E of two, uh, the E of two, the, uh, the and of three, and the duh of four, which I haven't done yet, you can combine that as part of the grid. It is the grid. Now, what are we going to do with the stick control book? Well, that stick control book keeps popping up every time we do a lesson and every time you practice because, like I said, everything you need to know is in the stick control book, the first three pages. Coordination, I'd say 95% of it. Okay, so now, how do, does line one of page five associate what I just did. It's simple. I formulate or substitute, whichever you want to call it. I have the first pattern, which is right, left, right, left, and I'm going to stay with that. That is all R's equal the ride symbol, one. All L's equal the hi-hat, and, two E, and, three E, and, uh, four E, and, now you see how if you're creative and take stick control book to another dimension where everything else is coming from. You'll find that out. Now, we're gonna change the foot patterns and we're gonna reference off the stick control book. There's two different ways. I'm gonna stay with one way. I'm gonna take line one and think of line one instead of one and two and three and four and I'm going to make that one measure of 16th notes as one E and the two E and the three E and the four E and the. And I'm going to eliminate all the right, lefts and play just the rights. So, with that being said, my bass drum is going to be playing one E and the two E and the three E and the four E and the. 
against the pattern. Okay? One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. Nice and slow. Get, get accustomed to that thinking that way. Actually, the slower you play this, the stronger you will become. Okay, now the second line of stick control book, the bass drum is going to shift. Instead of on one and two and three and four and, it's going to be on all the E's and the does. Now, this is a little strange because you're, you're, you're accustomed to it. Boom, pop, boom, boom. So the, the downbeat is always, uh, when you're playing that high, you're associating the downbeat with the left hand. Now we're going to break that so we could expand or extend or, or become stronger with our coordination. Now we have this. One, E, I'm sorry. One, E, and the. Two, E, ah, that's what I'm talking about. I'm going to do it slower. One, E, and the. Two, E, and the. Three, E, and the. One D e and the two D e and the three D e and the four D e and the. Now, that's about all I want to do right now for the lesson. This is difficult. It's unusual. When I do the next lesson, we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to do it left-handed. And we're going to expand on the bass drum parts. And as you exercise the bass drum parts, understand the control of where to place the bass drum parts, we're going to go to act the actual new breed, and we're going to go to the syncopation book. And we're going to, and the stick control book too as well. But it all comes how the new breed, the patterns, time functions, and stick control book, the relationship. The first step we're going to do with the syncopation book is understand how to read it and then play it with this pattern or system, okay? And we're going to, uh, you become stronger with this. We're going to take each line of the stick control book and we're going to play the, pat the, the first line, which would be one and two, like we did, the, r the right symbol on one, the left is the and on on the the hi hat on the and two and against the whole book, all the rights being the bass drum, all the lefts being the snare drum. This is a lot of practice time and a lot of work. So do we all understand what I've gone over so far? Would you like me to demonstrate a little bit more of what I did already? Do you understand it? Yes or no? That would really help. I don't want to over, overburden you because this is going to be a little unusual. It's, it's not the, the norm. And that's the object, is to develop a stronger sense of coordination. Any questions? Come on, mouse. Do you understand? You like the exercise there, Fred? It's a different and it's unusual. And it's extremely helpful. Well, actually, anything you do is helpful. But this is more on a, on a playing level, as performance, rather, if you're playing with the band. It's to develop the coordination and the control. The key here is the slower you do it, the stronger you will become. Now, whoever else is watching, is there any questions and do you understand this? No questions? Like I said, oh, by the way, Tuesday, that's tomorrow, 1 p.m., there is no lesson. Something has come up, and I'm not going to be able to make it. So we're going to continue Wednesday and Thursday. This way it's better. You get one more day of working on this and making it stronger, and perhaps there's some questions. And one thing I, I really would enjoy 
uh, as a response. If you found different ways to do this, it would be appreciated and we could expand on it and share it with the other members or other people viewing or whoever else is going to view the video when it's recorded. So there's no questions. Everybody understands. And again, no lesson tomorrow on YouTube. However, there's a lesson tonight, and Wednesday we'll be back on schedule. The lesson tonight, and it's open for the whole month of June, is www.mattpatellaLiveLessons.com. Now, everybody here, do you have the, the three books I just mentioned? The Stick Control book, the, the uh, Gary uh, Chester New Breed, and uh, the Pattern Series, Time Functioning by Gary Shafee. Do we all have them? Yes, no, maybe, by chance, perhaps. Okay, if there is no questions, I believe that this is a lot of work uh, for you understand it. Good for you. I know that you do, Fred. I, I, I mean, I met you one-on-one, -on -one and I could tell, you know, just the way you handled yourself and talked about drumming that, uh, and you as an instructor and who you study with, you do know these, and it's very nice of you to visit the site and uh, revisit the things that you do know, and perhaps you could be creative and share with the other viewers what you're, you're uh, coming up with. That would be so nice. So with all that being said, remember, no lesson tomorrow, and tonight, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time, it's open for the, the whole month of June, Mondays and Wednesdays, 8.30 p.m. Matt Patella, live lessons dot com. Okay, so if there is no less uh, questions, uh, I'm going to close up unless there's some more questions. But we all understand it. We're going to go Wednesday left-handed or open-handed, so to say, speak rather. No questions. Okay, I hope this has helped. I hope you enjoy it. Now remember, the slower the better, the more control you will obtain. Speed does not exist unless you have control. So gentlemen, have a good night, or day rather. See everybody tonight, whoever wants to come. That's Matt Patella, LiveLessons.com. Thank you.